Hi everybody, this is Anthony Karabash from anthonykarabash.com and I'm doing a revised tutorial on how to download a Smart Notebook as well as a bonus two minute uh, section on how to cut and copy um, graphics so that you can use them for yourself. Um, to start go with uh, Google or whatever your favorite search engine is and just type in Smart Notebook download okay and if your school subscribe to the license for notebook then you'll be able to download the full version but I'll go through these steps and then I'll show you the rest um, you want to make sure that you're going to smarttech.com so you can go to smarttech.com this is the US site I'm reading that what I'll just do is go down to the smarttech.com site um, and you could start there you don't have to google it and just make sure that you're in the right uh, country code so I'll click on the what I did was I clicked up here in the right corner and I chose Canada English just to make sure I get the proper version it's a slightly different site and then where I'll go to download the software is under support so I'll click on support and the second item is the software downloads and I'll click on that at this point uh, you can diverge it depends on what operating system you have and if you have a Mac or a PC all of these things play into uh, into what you're going to download so the the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to download the notebook so what you'll do is choose a version by clicking on the arrow and the latest version is 11 for Windows or 11 for Mac and 10.3 for Linus so I have a Windows machine so I will be downloading 11 for Windows and I'll click on that link and then it will prompt me with another page that gives me all sorts of information here as you can see product information you just click on that drop down it will tell you activation instructions installation instructions this is good for you uh, especially as uh, we move into a world that doesn't promote reading this is a it's important for you to go through all of these um, in detail. Once you've done that, take note, it is a 344 megabyte uh, download. So make sure you've got enough room on your use, uh, your, your data use at home. And we'll click on download. So at this point, uh, we'll come to a window that says download software. And your download will begin once the form has been completed. And then just go ahead and read and uh, answer the questions appropriately so are you downloading software for which you have a product key uh, if you're if you're a member of a school board that has smart boards in the classroom then you will click on yes you do have a product key um, so click on yes and then you'll have to answer all of the pertinent questions so start with your first name and then your last and just fill everything out according to uh, the form and see if you can find uh, something that has uh, some kind of pertinence to what you do fill out your email and then make sure you answer all of the questions can smart email use software updates products and services I usually say no and then that'll be up to you and then click on start download now once you've started the download you'll be prompted with uh, either a run or a save I recommend that you save it it only goes into your temporary files anyway and then Internet Explorer in this case will uh, give you a little window that looks like this and it'll tell you how long it'll take to save and at this point I'll pause the video and download it and then show you how to install it okay as you can see it's been downloaded and now in Internet Explorer or Firefox it's going to ask you if you want to run or open the folder well I've downloaded it so I'm going to run it whenever you try to install a program you're prompted with this window it says do you want to allow the following program to make changes and you say yes well, obviously because that's the whole point of what you've just done 
Um, what opens up next is a wizard, and that wizard will guide us through the rest of the process. So, read the instructions, click Next. In order to proceed, you'll have to accept the terms in the license agreement, and then it'll ask you where you want to install it. And that's fine. If you have room on your drive, then go ahead and click Next. If you know for a fact that you don't have room, then you'll have to change the location simply by clicking Change and then choose the appropriate folder that you have room in order to uh, install the prog program. And click Next. Now in our, in our case for our board, Toronto Catholic, um, we do have license to the Smart Notebook which comes with the Smart Product Drivers. You could try any of these other uh, tools but they are not a part of our package per se and so if you want the software to run the way it does at school then by all means just click on the first two but if you want to try some others you can also try the others as well in my case I think I'll try the smart notebook 3D tools and then I'll click next um, it's going to ask if I, if I have uh, the most recent version of Adobe Flash and that's fine I'll just click on OK um, most of you will have updated your flash player and that's a normal process uh, and update within the computer and in this case I will it's asking me this is very important which features will start when Windows operating system starts I really recommend that you leave them both blank otherwise you've got a, a, a lot of processes running at the beginning of your machine startup which means it takes longer to start up um, again, I'm going to click Next. I'm going to leave everything blank. And what I'm going to do is disable the uh, customer service program on the devices and click Next. And then I'm going to click on Next again, making sure that all of my activity toolkits are chosen. I can choose whatever language I want. Uh, in this case, they have upgraded many of their languages. Um, but for now, I'll stick with French and then click Next. And then finally, Install. At this point, I'll pause the video and then uh, rejoin you after the installation is complete. Okay, now that it's been downloaded, it took about 15-20 minutes. It is a pretty big program. Uh, just click on Finish on this box here. And it's going to let me know that the changes will take effect after I restart my computer. So I'll click on Yes and now it's going to prompt me if uh, I want to make my, you know save any of the things that I need um, to save my computer now is trying to shut down so what I'm going to do is just click on cancel because I don't want uh, to shut down just yet okay and that's how uh, you download the smart notebook software version 11 I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, the next video I'll post will be simply how to uh, copy and paste or take snippets from your screen so that you can have your own JPEGs. Thanks again.